another cool econometrics. In my last video, I showed you how to collapse daily observations uh, into yearly or annual observations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to collapse uh, daily observations into monthly observations and also how to um, kind of drop or keep some observations based on some certain months or conditional months you want to have in the data set. All right, so the first thing again is to uh, is to simply inst load in my data set, which is my weather data set daily of daily observations of uh, temperature and uh, and uh, precipitation. And you can see that this is daily uh, weather set because you have the, the temp date is the variable name that contains the dates daily date so you have one two three four five six and then that that all right so the next thing after that is simply to say that i want to generate um uh i want to generate as integers uh, I'll, I'll call you can call this anything but i call it m date that's how i i want to say generate the months only the months of the dates in this daily data set i mean the daily variable where you have the daily date, which is temp date. So what this is going to do, it's going to generate only the month. So pick out, it will extract the month of each of those, uh, of each of the uh, data set, of each of the dates rather. So if you run this now, let's go and see what it looks like. Uh, but before then, I think I, I just also want to tell Stata that, okay, now you've done this, uh, because the, the thing is, if you go, if you if you look at it, it generates m date as an integer. Remember, we asked you to generate it as an integer. But I want to tell data that state that this is not an integer. I want you to generate make this into a date format, into a date format. So how do I do that? I simply say format m date as date. So I say format, ah, huh? format. M date. This is the new variable I just created as as make it as monthly date in monthly format. As you can see, M means monthly, Y means yearly, D means daily, but I want it in monthly format. So if I press enter and then I go back and look at uh, my variable, you see now it's now in it's now in a, a monthly format, 2010 month one, 2010 month two, 2010 month three. Now you can just collapse uh you can collapse any set of variable you want by hem date but let's assume i want to maybe i'm just interested in some certain months so i want to drop some months and keep some months let's say i want to drop months uh april to november and i want to keep only uh, or pa, pa, I want, let's say i want to drop months from april to october rather and i want to keep only months from november to march so how do i do that uh, so what I need to do is um, there is a package that you will need to install in Stata called NumDate. If you have installed it, so if I run it now, it will tell me that it's already um, it's already installed, as you can see. But if you've not installed it, it's going to install. So once you've installed this NumDate uh, package, then there is a command in that package called extract dates. That is extract date. You want to extract date. And what do I want to extract? I want to extract the months, the months in the date, the months in the date, the month. Now, when you extract the months in the date, I want to save all the months in the date into a variable called month. Of course, you can name this whatever you want, but I call it month. And I say let uh, so I want to extract, and I want that my I want to extract it from the M date. Remember, I've created the M date already. Before you use the extra date, you must have have this M date format, which is what I did in the previous sections. So I have my M date now, where I have the year and the month. So I'm just telling using this command to extract the month in this M date, in this M date. So if you run that now, let's see what we have. So we have this now. So you see, it's, oh, you, are, you now have the months extracted. So you have ones for January, twos for March, and like that, like that. So 
12 for December, one for January, two for February, three for March, until you get to 12 for December. And then you can simply drop um, the months you don't want to, you don't want. So let's say I want to drop a <clears throat> drop if month um, is equal to, uh, I just want to keep, or let's say I just want to keep only, to keep if month is greater than three and if month is less than 10. So I want to, I want to only keep um, months uh, from, uh, I want to keep months from, from April to, because April is four. So I want to keep months from April to September. So if I click on this now, it has dropped all the other months. And you can just double check just to make sure that you are doing the right thing. If you come here and I see it has from April, which is four, and then to get to nine, which is November, and then go back to four. So it has dropped um, all the observations from November, from October to March. And then once you've gotten the months you need, the next thing you can just simply collapse uh, to yearly data. Uh, if you if you want to or maybe also to monthly data so now i can simply say i want to collapse or you can collapse by year and month so let's say t mean i want to collapse by year remember my if you want to go oh, okay before we do that you can't collapse by year now because we've not um we've not gotten the we've not generated the year integer the year integer so we'll just say generate integer but now year dates and then I said year of date, then I run this. So I have this now, and then I just simply just do the same thing I did in the previous exercise. Okay, good. All right, so with this now, I can collapse by year and date because I have those two separate variables now. So I say collapse T mean by Y date and then by months. Good. So that's it. So you see, so for tells me this are the mean for the month of April, May, June, July to September 2010. These are the mean temperature. And so that's how you collapse by year and month. Uh, in the subsequent video, I will also show you how to collapse daily observations into weekly observations. Mm -hmm. I hope you benefited from this video. If you do, please subscribe and like. Thank you.